a laboratory safety project by the National Biosafety and Biocontainment Training Program, the National Institutes of Health, and Dartmouth College. Autoclave Safety The proper use of an autoclave to decontaminate biohazardous waste. Note. The illustrations, safety practices, and suggestions shown in this animation do not cover all of the potential health and safety concerns associated with the use of an autoclave. Autoclaves can vary in appearance and operation from the model presented in this animation. Please take time to learn about your autoclave, its design, and proper operation. Always wear appropriate clothing and personal protective equipment clothing to cover the legs, shoes to protect the feet, laboratory coat, safety glasses, face shield, and heat-resistant gloves when operating an autoclave. Wear a liquid-resistant apron when autoclaving liquids. Please discuss the safe operation of your autoclave with the safety and maintenance staff in your facility. Remember to consult the appropriate federal, state, and local regulations for proper disposal of medical waste. Autoclave Overview Decontamination is achieved through a proper combination of time, temperature, and pressure. Power on, off switch. Chamber temperature gauge. Jacket pressure gauge. The jacket pressure remains static. Chamber pressure gauge. Chart recorder. Gasket. Door. Inspect the gasket before each use. Replace worn or damaged gaskets. Jacket. Chamber. Steam inlet. Baffle. Drain. Steam exits through the drain. Inspect drain and carefully remove any debris. Energy flow in an autoclave. Door is closed and sealed. Steam enters the chamber and pushes air already in the chamber out through the drain. As steam enters the autoclave, the chamber temperature and pressure rise. The jacket pressure remains constant. For the autoclave cycle to be successful, the specified temperature must be maintained for the appropriate amount of time. Cycle successful. Specified temperature not maintained for an appropriate amount of time. Cycle not successful. Items not decontaminated. Personal protective equipment. Always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment when using the autoclave. Proper clothing and personal protective equipment include closed toe shoes to protect feet, clothing to cover legs, safety glasses, gloves to protect skin from contamination, laboratory coat, face shield, heat resistant gloves, 
Add a liquid resistant apron when autoclaving liquids. Proper use of an autoclave to decontaminate biohazardous waste. Note, each load of biohazardous waste is different. Some of the factors that can influence the selection of autoclave parameters for a load of biohazardous waste include the types of materials, amount of liquid, and how densely the waste materials are packed. At a minimum, biohazardous waste should be decontaminated by adding approximately 100 milliliters of water to the bag containing waste and autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius for one hour. Remember, always check with your institution's safety professionals to determine the appropriate time, temperature, and amount of water needed to decontaminate your biohazardous waste. The bag should be loosely packed and not more than two-thirds full. The bag should contain 100 milliliters of water. Close bag loosely. Place the items to be autoclaved inside a metal secondary container. Place the pan in the center of the autoclave. Do not overload the chamber. Close and seal the door. The bag is loosely closed to relieve pressure buildup inside the bag. An overloaded autoclave obstructs the flow of steam. Even if the autoclave is working properly, reaching 121 degrees Celsius and 15 PSI, the center of the load may not reach the temperature required for decontamination if the cycle time is too short. Before opening the autoclave at the end of the cycle, make sure that the chamber pressure has returned to zero and make sure that the chart recorder demonstrates a successful cycle. Stand back when the door opens and allow time for steam to escape. Escaping steam can cause burns. Examples of autoclave associated injuries. You may not be able to see steam escaping from autoclave. Use caution to avoid burns. Sudden changes in pressure, such as opening autoclave, may cause superheated liquids to change from a liquid to a gas violently and boil over. Use caution when removing these items. Touching the sides of the hot autoclave may cause a burn. Condensation on the load may splash user and cause a burn. 